My friends, I've got a cool one for you today. This is your buddy Keith here again live at Essex Recording Studios just outside London in England. And I've got a 2016 limited edition Gibson Voodoo Les Paul. These are really cool, guys. This is the second generation of these Voodoos. They made one years earlier, I think. About 10 years earlier, a decade, in 2006-ish, might have been a little earlier, 2003. The year escapes me, you can Google it. But this is the uh, the, ne the latest model of it. Obviously, we're in 2019 now, but very, very cool. It's got the Juju Ash finish. Now, on the original, you had heavy black with red dye rubbed into the grain this is the opposite this has the reddish uh finish with black dye kind of rubbed into the grain it looks awesome it also has what i call the blood moon inlays found on the blood moon model these are really cool and are different from the first voodoo model which got uh just a skull i can't remember which fret it was at i think it was third fret it got the uh skull inlay you've got the top hats with the again the font matches the finish very cool and the zebra pickups with the uh, matching finish blacked out hardware just awesome the bridge the stop tails piece a uh, load of case candy with this one so you've got the warranty Manual, strap locks, owner's manual. When it was just born, brand new baby voodoo. Uh, polishing cloth there. And then you've got your details, signature from the inspector, serial number, model number, date. It's like February 5th, 2016. And what a cool set of neon strings on it. These things are luminescent. And uh, look killer under black light or any cool stage lighting, really. The font, again, unique to the Voodoo model. That uh, kind of juju color. Apologies if the lighting's a little bright. But uh, playing around with it here to make sure you have what it really looks like. Let me just take this out of its case one second. Doing this all one-handed here. Paperwork's getting a little stuck. All right. So on the back, again, you can see that beautiful ash finish. Now, this, this is a significant departure from what a Les Paul normally is. Because usually you've got mahogany body, mahogany neck. And here you've got ash body. And uh, looks like mahogany neck. Is it mahogany or maple? Looks like mahogany. Yes. Definitely that. You'll have to check the spec. The only reason why I was questioning it is because of this uh, kind of like, I think the finish that you get from the corner, quarter sawn maple. That kind of effect. But looking at the grain, the grain pattern's really tight. Yeah. But yeah, guys. So this is a, a very special and unique model. That is different from all other Les Pauls. And my favorite element about this guitar. Aside from its finish and kind of radical look all around. Love those black Grover tuners. My favorite thing about this is the case you get the juju case the snake skin let me uh again put this paperwork away for a second so i can give you a proper look at this case it's awesome how cool is that guys this one is in phenomenal condition um and that finish goes along the whole thing, front and back. 
as far as condition on the guitar goes, I didn't see a mark on it. I'm going to do a real thorough look around on it right now with you guys. There's the headstock. That all looks great. Let's see the sides here. Again, all looking fantastic. Looks like it's ash with a uh, carved ash top. You can see it has a little, uh, looks like, like a quarter inch top there. This is really beautiful. Yeah, I mean, this is mint. I can't find any marks or damage or anything. Wow. All right, guys. That's a special one. Not something we get every day. We've had uh, the Voodoo SG. We've had the Voodoo Les Paul. A couple of Voodoo Les Pauls. All of them from the original run. This is the first time we've had one from uh, the 2016 run. And I'm really, really impressed with it. And I definitely... Uh, the, the Blood Moon inlays really pop. Hard to tell on a phone, but in person... You'll know exactly what I'm talking about, especially if you've seen them before. And a nice contrast from the from the uh, what was originally black with red grain, now red with the black grain. If you've got the other one, you've got to get this one. I think having both would be really cool, especially for doing a set live. I wouldn't change a thing on the guitar, guys. I think how it comes out of the box is perfect. It's got all the vibe you need. The sound is awesome. These are really hot pickups, really great. Totally awesome for rock. But like any Les Paul, if you need blues, if you need to jazz it up a little bit, they absolutely get the job done as well. Cool. I'm going to get going, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you want to buy this guitar, it's for sale on our website, like everything else on this channel, EssexRecordingStudios.com, and it's for sale on Reverb.com. What's up with us? What's the latest news? We just got back from Vienna. We saw Metallica with Ghost. Vienna is absolutely beautiful. Guys, put it on your bucket list. You have to go. Uh, the beer, the food, all amazing. The architecture, amazing. It's impossible to have a bad time in that city. Aside from that, we just became warm audio dealers. Really cool. And because I left for a few days to go see Metallica, all the new gears in here, it's piling up. I've got tons of guitars. I've got to do videos and photo shoots for all these. So uh, I've got my work cut out for me. And we've got Youth Illusion coming in the studio tomorrow to do some more recording. So it's uh, there's never enough time in the day to get this work done, guys. Thanks. Also, we passed a million views. That's uh, that's huge. That's another big news. Million views we've blown past, and we're real close to about three thousand four hundred subscribers to the channel. So thank you for subscribing if you're new, and to all of the loyal friends, uh, like always, thanks for the support, guys. This is all all for you guys. If nobody watched these videos, if nobody left the comments or got in touch on our socials, uh, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff, we wouldn't be doing this. It would be pointless. It would be a total waste of time. But you guys have been really, really great. We love seeing all the comments, sharing all the info, sharing all the opinions. It's great. So um, with that being said, I'm going to skedaddle. I got to get out of here and do some more videos for you guys. Stick around on the channel. More coming up right after this.